Hey everybody, I've got two indoor flea markets to show you today. The first one is from out in Ohio. My brother and I went to this specific flea market in the fall, but the car dealer was away at a baseball card show and was not in, so we're gonna go and see if he's there today. DNG video game. Toy guy's not here again. This place is pretty big. Yeah, I know. He's like an old Ames or something. This is the guy John wants to like buy stuff off of at least. Yeah, he's not here. <laughs> here one to six if you need to meet. I will gladly set up the time. I always you write that. My purses are high. Yeah, like why would you put that on there? Some cheap sets for like five. Probably like a quarter pack, I don't know. Try to buy all these. Better figure out how much they are first. That pack looks like it's like... Yeah, no. Third. Victory? Hey, is this your guys' stuff over here too? Yeah. Okay, how much are all those packs? Four a piece. Four a piece? Okay, I'm gonna get some of those. You get any? I might grab some. What's this? Piece of history. Two again. Yeah. What about these victory cards? You want these? Yeah, I'll take these. These are. I don't know if I. Uh, Look for victory yeah. gold insert cards. Another one. Yeah, great. This could be end up being a good, good stream for you. Yeah, for sure. You can get any more of these? I can't tell if these are good or not. Put it on brick together. One victory. Yeah, I'll take that. I'm sure you've done boxes in here. Yeah, that's what they do. What are these? Are these like 82 or something? I think those are those 81 or 82 stickers. Yeah, that's all those. Are, and uh, Dumbledore has. I feel like these uh, victory cards are all bricks. Yeah, they might be. That's, that's the risk with those 2000s cards. See what my brother's looking at. These are the older ones over here. Hey, I found out Hideki Rabu. <laughs> I remember these. Yeah, the Studio 95 credit card. Someone sent me that set. Really? Yeah, it's like one of those. Pretty sick. I think always had those. Are these all 10 cents? Yeah. I wonder what's, uh... Whoa, this is heavy. Yeah, I was wondering about those, too. Eight bucks. I wonder what's in there. That's really heavy. It's probably about hey, what, three to four thousand cards. Like, what's all... How many... What's, what's in there? Can I get, uh, like a super thick, uh... Top loader on there for the 240, yeah. One of those for five. Yeah. What'd you get? Oh, not, is that five? Yeah, that's awesome.
should be about ready for your next uh, mixer break. I think 25. Okay. Do you mind if I show all the stuff on YouTube? I've got oh, no, like, go I've got. Hope you guys, if you're in the Ohio slash Western Pennsylvania area, can make it out to Niles and check out this baseball card stand. Lots of inventory. I ended up spending twenty-five dollars. I'm gonna show you everything that I bought. Literally thousands of cards at the end of this video. But before I do that, I have one more stop to show you. This is Value It out in Johnstown, and there is about three different baseball card vendors inside. These all have 10 cents. This is They're definitely 10 cents. restocked. This one in your last time I was here, but. Yeah, last time I was here. It was a lot of 70s cards. Pretty man. crappy last time. It was getting low. They got packs for 50 cents each. He lowered the prices. 10 cents each. It definitely did. It's here. not JMS anymore. It's A2Z. I don't know if somebody bought them out. You gotta figure all the cards, the good ones are pretty much picked over by now. I'm sure. There's some 75 tops in here. Yeah, this box is a bunch 73 of tops, but they're all common so far. Yeah, it's looking like this box is really picked over from the last time I was here. These are the same cards as last time in this case. These are all the same. Check out the stuff. Yeah, please. Yeah. Is that Lavalier? Lavalier 87 traded. Yeah. George Brett. So these are all like a dollar fifty cents or three dollars. Pete Rose 84. I don't really see anything in there. Fifteen cents. What the heck happened here? Look how someone put all these cards in here. I think so. Yeah. Kevin Ritz, ninety tops. It's all commons. Yeah, I saw a thunderstorm warning. Hopefully, it passes by. What? This must be a new seller. Look, tops big, dollar sixty for three packs. This is a good deal. Thirty-eight. It's a real good deal. Factory sealed too. Yeah. RJD is definitely a new guy. Yeah, this is a new guy. Boxes are still the same prices. Yeah, this is the uh, QRT section. He might. Yeah, they should be like two bucks. Can't you fit more in those? I think he might be able to. Looks like he like straightened his cards up a little bit. All mixed together, football and baseball though. I know. I know, like I don't even want to look through it. The cards are gonna be falling down. It's probably the same cards as last time. That guy over here always has decent stuff though, those people. Yeah. Ten cent boxes or something like that. What's the point of labeling one every single one of them like you put ten cents in the box? Yeah, I know. There's some decent ones in here, nothing too crazy though. Look, somebody stole that card. Stupid. I think this is what I found Chris Carpenter looking in last time for like a buck or whatever it was. 77 Brent for 25 cents, it's all banged up. Why is Larry Walker at 250? Yeah. It's like rookie card. It's still Down. though, like it should be 50 cents. Or yeah, sometimes he has like, cards for like super cheap. Especially if you have that card for what, 25 cents? 77 Brent. I think it might be written on though. I need to like take it out of take it out of the sheet. Let's see. That's like a fifteen dollar. Somebody wrote it on it. They wrote fifteen. Oh, stupid. Yeah, they, they wrote the book value of the card on there. Stadium stars over there. 
Seven fifty. I'm gonna pay for a buck for any of these. Mark McGuire. Yeah, no. Ew. It's like. Yeah, it's like all this. All look. All this merchandise is ruined. It's like. Ew. Like, look at that. All that stuff is sitting in. What is that, Gargoyles game? Stupid. I can't decide if I should get that 89 per deck set. Yeah, I know. All right, I'm going to show you what I picked up at that flea market out in Ohio. Uh, he gave me this box to make it a little easier to carry all the packs that I was buying. You can see I picked up some super thick top loaders for my brakes. And then I picked up all these packs. They were only 25 cents a piece, which is a really good deal. Now, let's show you what we got here. We have some Upper Deck from 2002 Series 2. Got a few of those packs. My brother also picked up a bunch of those. Tops total from 2003. I wasn't buying cards back then, so I figured, what the heck, I'll buy a couple packs of these and check them out. How about some Victory from 2000? A couple of those. Some Victory from 2000 and I think that's 2002. Some more O2 Upper Deck Series 2. These used to be $3 a pack back in the day. Now, 25 cents. Also, I picked up this Collector Books Premier Edition set for a quarter. That was in the uh, bin with all the packs and some more Victory Packs from 2000. So we're going to rip a couple of those open. And then I have this giant box that weighs probably almost about 20 pounds. It's filled with cards that I bought for 8 bucks. We'll show you that as well. So let's just do a couple packs of these and see uh, if the uh, quarter investment was worth it. Why don't we do these tops total first since I only got two of these. 2003 that's the year i graduated from college definitely was not into baseball cards back in 03 that was also my first year as a teacher a high school teacher so 03 was a pretty good year for me and uh let's see what we pull out of here so far all commons and continues to be all commons tony larusse is a hall of famer award winner that pack was awful Next pack. Well, I doubt we would pull an autograph out of Topps Total. There were so many cards in Topps Total, by the way. I think it was approaching a thousand cards in the set. Russell Brannion, Javier Lopez, mm. Hong Chi Kuo, Steve Traxel. And um, these packs were. Pretty much both duds, but I mean, that happens with packs sometimes. Why don't we check out this Victory? I believe this was 2002. It used to be 99 cents a pack, so this is a pretty, uh, I guess, lower end set. A victory. You can see we got a Josh Fogg rookie. Um, he played for the Pirates for a while. Mark Teixeira rookie. That's pretty sweet. Mark Teixeira. You all know Mark Teixeira, of course. Um, Juan Gon, Juan Gonzalez. These cards aren't sticking together so bad. There's Esteban Loaiza. He's behind bars now. Richie Sexton. Roy Oswalt. Chris Richard. Gold Border. We get a Jeff Bagwell. And Orlando Hudson. So that wasn't too bad. Mark Teixeira, 2002 rookie. All right, next pack. Last one of victory here. This one's, they're, they're trying to stick together a little bit. Like, I can't just shuffle through them because there's resistance. But they do come apart very easily. It's just um, annoying to have to do it this way. Billy Wagner, parallel car there. JT Snow, Chanho Park, Mark Mulder, and Scott Spezio from victory. Why don't we stay on the victory train here and do a couple of these. Mark McGuire, I don't know if these cards... Or these wrappers were supposed to look like this, or they just got faded out, or, or what? But I don't know. Let's see. 2000 Victory with Mark Wire. 12 cards per pack. 
and I guess these are made by Upper Deck. As you see the Upper Deck logo there. You get a Ken Griffey Jr. Jr. Circuit card on the top. Eli Marrero. And again, these, well, I can kind of get through them a little bit. Sean Green, Chipper Jones, Joe Mays, Moise Salou. The designs on these cards are pretty crappy. I'm not a big fan of these designs. With the, like, picture and double picture there. It's, I don't know. Design's kind of crappy. All right, next pack for Victory. By the way, it says you can log on to VictoryCards.com for your chance to win a Mark Wire 70th home run commemorative bat. I guess that was the uh, giveaway or one of the, um, another Ken Griffey Jr. I was worried they were going to get the same exact pack for a second. Looks like that's not going to happen. Doug Mankiewicz. Let's see what's in this pack of Victory. We'll bust open a couple of those Upper Deck from O2. Upper Deck's not around anymore as far as baseball cards. John Smoltz, he's a Hall of Famer. Almost got excited for Orlando Hernandez. Thought maybe that's an autograph or insert since it was upside down. But nope, it was just a regular card. Todd Hundley, Mo Vaughn. You guys know Mo Vaughn. I think he's in the real estate business now. I think his company's called, I want to say like MVP or something like that. I, I don't remember what it stands for. Maybe like Mo Vaughn Properties. I just, I'm pretty sure he went into real estate and is doing pretty well. I feel like we get this card in every pack. Junior Circuit, Ken Griffey Jr. Juan Encarnacion, Craig Vigio Hall of Famer. That's not a, a bad one at all. Another Javi Lopez, Daryl Kyle. Rest in peace, DK. Jeffrey Hammonds. And that is it. Stat leaders, Tony Gwynn and Trevor Hoffman. Not a big fan of the design on those cards at all. How about these uh, 2002 Series 2? This is retail. And by the way, the uh, thing they were um, advertising is finding authentic Mark McGuire memorabilia cards, which would be pretty awesome. The odds of finding one of those cards is probably really, I don't know, really tough. Um, there's the odds on the back. Uh, authentic Maguire bat card, numbered to 70. Does it really even give us the odds? I don't know. I don't feel like reading those for a couple minutes. All right, Jason Giambi, Carlos Beltran, Jamie Moyer. Like Jamie Moyer a lot when I was, uh, I wouldn't say younger, but maybe like 10 years ago. Barry Bonds, Garrett Anderson, Sean Green, Chasing History, Roberto Alomar, and Jaime Cerda, star rookie. This is probably the last pack I'll do of uh, Upper Deck, and then I really want to get into this big jumbo box here that I bought, this grab bag. Um, these cards are a little annoying because I can't, I can't just go through them like I want to. I have to like peel them apart. Javi Lopez, Randy Johnson, 2001 year of the record. That's the year that Johnson and the Diamondbacks won the World Series by beating the Yankees in the seventh game. Luis Gonzalez with the little bloop. Um, walking off Mariana Rivera to beat the Yankees. All right, let's um, we'll put these aside. I'll probably just send those to people here and there on Patreon. Let's take a let's take a look at this. This thing is so heavy. It's a big what is it? A flat rate box, medium flat rate box, and it's filled with cards. I would say there's probably about 600 cards here, 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 here. So you're looking at about 2,400 cards uh, in total. Now the seller did say before I purchased it that it was all pretty much commons. So I'm hoping it's an, a mixture of commons from different years and not just all one set, like a bunch of like 91 Donruss or 90 Fleer or whatever. I'm hoping it's kind of a mixture. We'll find out in a second once I get this last piece of tape cut open. And here we go. It looks like inside we do have a, well, kind of a mixture. I see some, looks like 89 Bowman right here. Yep, there's 89 Bowman. And then this is probably going to be this all the same year right here. 
There's the 90 Fleer. Um, let's just cut to, I see a couple penny sleeves. Let's cut to that stuff. Don't want to spend a lot of time looking through these. Um, that would take, that's probably its own, own video to go through one of these boxes, to be honest. Let me just make sure I can move this aside without knocking over stuff. All right, here's just kind of like a sampling of what's in here. We have some 2007 Tops cards with those black borders. Um, Raul Mondesi, Collector's Choice. Don't know who that is. Football player, Jeff D'Amico. Some more Collector's Choice cards. Dave Rigetti, Leaf 87. Nice. Kind of like that kind of stuff. There's a Sandy Alomar classic card. That's from, what, 89, I think? Um, yeah, 1989 classic. That's a Sandy Alomar. I guess that would be considered his rookie card. Ray Quinones. Bobby Bo. See, I'm not... I'm not upset about commons when it's kind of like a mixture like this. It's almost like a giant Fairfield box. Um, I would have been disappointed if it was all the same stuff. Dennis Rodman. You guys remember Dennis Rodman. It's not his rookie card. I don't know much about basketball, but I know that name. Jack Morris. He's a Hall of Famer. Let's see what else. I see one in a penny sleeve here. Oh, Lenny Dykstra? What is this, like a pog or something? Um, I don't know what that is. But there's a George Brett, 87 Don Ross, and some more basketball cards. Isaiah Thomas. He was pretty good, wasn't he? I've heard that name before for sure. Let's pick out a few more of these. We have some SP cards in there. Looks like a Greg Maddox SP. That's not too bad at all. Greg Maddox. Jabba Chamberlain. Johan Santana is a decent one, not a Hall of Famer, but had a really good career. Cole Hamels, Cole Hamels again. Carlos Beltran's probably going to get into the Hall of Fame one day. Uh, along with this guy, Miguel Cabrera, you'll pretty much guarantee that he's going to get in, I would, I would imagine. Uh, Will Clark, I've never seen that card before. Some cool stuff in here. Will Clark, 85 USA team card. What is this? This looks like like a card somebody had made or something. I've never seen that card before. 87 Don Ross. Just kind of like skim through these pretty quick. Jim Rice Hall of Famer. Um, some interesting stuff in here. Never know what you're going to find in these grab boxes or grab bags. It's a Blue Jays, I guess, leader card from Sport Flicks. And a bunch more commons than Keith Hernandez. Pull another stack out of here. Yeah, this box is absolutely loaded with cards. I would probably say more than that. Um, 12400, probably closer to 25, 2600. Ricky Henderson, a few of those. Mark McGuire. So, um, yeah, not too bad. Some good players in here. That McGuire probably books at 75 cents. Some people still like McGuire cards. Uh, let's see, some 93 upper deck. All right. Let me just uh, go through. I'm just going to pull out stacks now and rather than going through them all so you get a little idea here. See some triple play. Um, I see some tops traded from 1990. Uh, I see some select from 93, including a George Brett on the top. That's pretty cool. What is this? What is this? A Tim Raines superstar card. I've never seen that one before. At least I don't think so. There's some 91 studio cards. Got a bunch of 90 Bowman right here on the sides. And uh, we're going to get down to the next level here just to uh, see what we have. Uh, I already showed you there's a bunch of 89 Bowman here. It also looks like we have some 93 Stadium Club right here. Um, some 90 Fleer at the bottom. If I can get these out of here, we've got... There's a couple newer cards mixed in. Jordy Mercer, Nomar Mazzara. These are from 2016. So I was wondering if there was going to be some newer cards snuck into these boxes. I was hoping there was. It looks like there's at least a few. We have some Bowman's Best cards down there. So a nice mixture for 8 bucks. Um, if you're in the area and you want a bunch of commons, 
if you want to give yourself something to do, nice Andrew Jones right there. It would probably take you, I don't know, maybe like two hours to sort all through these, if not longer. But uh, I don't have that kind of time right now because I like to keep these videos under half hour if possible. So I'm going to end this right here. I'll look through these when I get some time. And uh, I hope you guys like this video. Again, that flea market is in Niles, Ohio. And um, I think they open at 9 o'clock every day. And go check out that card vendor. He's got tons of 10 cent boxes and a lot of newer 10 cent boxes from 2019, uh, 2018 cards, a bunch of Bowman cards and stuff there. So if you love your 10 cent boxes, definitely go check him out. He's also got some boxes of uh, other stuff that's a little more expensive, uh, some higher end cards and stuff. So go check him out if you're uh, in the area. And also the other place is called Value It in Johnstown. If you saw anything you like there, you go check them out as well. Thank you so much for watching, everybody. I hope you liked the video. Please hit that subscribe button if you haven't already, and I'll see you all later.